Introducing Sam and Messi. These are two devil joeys that I'm hen rearing that come home with me every day. Okay, boys, we're going to feed the devils? Yeah. And I'm teaching my sons, Billy and Maddie, how to do it to encourage the next generation of conservationists. Where well, you got it spot on. Percy. Spot on. Mm -hmm. oh, I've done the lid on too tight. I can smell it. We started hen rearing this brother and sister pair when they're only five months old, and that's a month ago now. They were tiny, vulnerable, fragile, and require bottle feeding four to five times every day. When they first came, they were just on 200 grams. They're now 350 and full of beans. They came into care because their mum was struggling a bit. That happens. She had four joeys. So by removing Sam and Messi, it means that they're safe, I can care for them, and mum can really concentrate on the two she still has. Yeah, will you hold on to Messi? Hey, wait your turn. Finished? Okay, can you give her a wipe around the face, please? They're six months old now, and if in the wild with mum, they'd be outside the pouch, clinging onto mum, running around inside the den, maybe even staying home sometimes when mum goes out to scavenge. And that's exactly what they do here. Our house becomes the playpen. Whether that's under the lounge, behind the lounge, on top of the lounge, biting someone on the ear on top of the head. Oh, big yawn. Oh. Put your finger in there. It's just like they do in the wild, but where mum? Who did that? Ready, wanna play table? Uh-oh, I think we're in trouble with Mum. What Mum does not see won't hurt her. What have you done? Oh no, Messi, she's doing away. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I, I thought it was a big guy. I'm gonna get in so much trouble. We'll hand rear the little joeys for three to four months. When the joeys are weaned and independent and they don't need us anymore, they'll stay at Reptile Park for a little while, close to home. After that, at about maybe 12 to 15 months old, they'll move back up to Aussie Ark in the breeding program, and the first stage is just a mix with their siblings and devils of the same age. So as you've seen, raising devils is a round-the-clock commitment, and it's worth it. Tasmania devils are extinct on mainland Australia, and with the disease in Tasmania, 80 to 90% of them have gone in the last 20 years. So every joey is precious. If you'd like to help secure a future for Sam or Messi or any one of a number of our devil joeys, it's really easy. I mean, you might be able to come visit them near me in the short term, but jump online, visit aussieark.org.au and donate.